you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Actual fuck. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Still there? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. So, we don't know where he is. We can't, uh, we can't find him. So we need to look into a, you know, a, uh, a replacement. All ponies are made of butter in night springs. Ah! The Gratsu things happening in Gidu of Niget Springs. Thank you. All ponies are made of butter in Night Springs. We know the old dance, the for um, fortunate and the destitute. The haves and the halves, halves. Those who dine at the table and those who starve in the street. But the tables can be over. Uh, but the tables can be turned. The gluttonous consumer may find himself the consumable resource. Do that again. And yet, that is the fate that awaits you in Night Fringe. 
It's Night Springs. Night Cringe. Springs. Bright Springs. Night Spring. Fright. or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for patience, folks. Have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? For those of you just Where's tuning the in, pole? the manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's university terror attack. Joyce may also have been involved in a firefight at the Monarch Mansion on Gull Island approximately 30 minutes ago. On the line, we have Ken Bukowski, a bridge operator for the Fort Donnelly Bridge. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a test. Now, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who the library? Um, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, there's a sports car parked on the streets back there. It's kind of wrecked. It's a little unusual. Please, show me what. Damn it. Better hurry. security personnel if you have anything to report.
and me Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. It's even worse than my passport picture. Honestly, I can't see him showing up here. Just be patient, folks. Just making sure everybody's safe. Okay, good. Just gotta make this place stay right and clear.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen. Okay. And no one would know. Hold still. Oh, hold still. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, tire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. 
Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Emerald to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. 